Thank you very much for joining me on this Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I just want to get to the, the main thing, again, watching this spot. And I know there's a lot of stuff out there about a major hurricane uh, forming in the Caribbean. So I want to get into the odds of that happening. Right now, I am not seeing that. I'm not seeing that happen. Could a late season hurricane develop? Late season tropical storm? Yes, and I'll show you why. But as far as a major hurricane season, the odds of that are incredibly low. So again, there's a lot of new uh, folks uh, on this channel. I've been getting comments about that. And I just wanted to let you know, again, this channel is just about the information, trying to get the forecast right. If there's a major hurricane, I'll forecast it. If there's not going to be, uh, we'll talk about that. So that's just uh, how this uh, channel works. It's just about getting the information out for safety's sake. And that is it. I'm not going to give any uh, clickbait uh, items out there, no hype. So what we're seeing here is what I'm seeing down in the uh, Caribbean. Again, we've been watching this flare up and yes, this is the area I'm watching for the next few days for the possibility of something potentially spinning up even into next week, just because there's going to be a lot of moisture here. Now, looking at the Eastern Caribbean, not as much now, but my friends in Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis down through St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'm going to get into our forecast, Guyana, because we're going to see that rain chance picking up. Uh, that is going to be picking up rather soon. Let me show you just up to the north in the Gulf. This is the area I was talking about, that blob developing, and it did. As we get back through the Gulf over toward the northern Bahamas, parts of Cuba, increased rain, but nothing tropical in this area. So just wanted to let you know about that. All right, let me get you back here and take you slowly through the entire week ahead right now. Here's your time frame. This is four o'clock today. There's the extra rain near Nicaragua. We're going to see the possibility of flooding even over toward Honduras and that rain chance picking up in Belize. This is tomorrow. Look at Belize. Better chance of rain. Ladyville back through Hopkins. We're going to see a higher chance of rain in Belize tomorrow. Costa Rica, Panama, same thing. And then a little resurgence of some rain over toward Guadalupe, uh, Martinique, Dominica. We'll see a better chance of rain tomorrow. Now this is Tuesday. Nothing has developed here in the Western Caribbean. I'm going to get to that, but then we start to get this resurgence of moisture near Barbados, down through Trinidad and Tobago, even a couple showers and storms possible in northern Venezuela and Guyana. Not as much in uh, Suriname. Most of it will be to the north. All right, this is by Wednesday. Let me stop it here. Wednesday afternoon. Two things I'm watching. Again, our southern zones, even back through the ABC Islands, rain chance starting to pick up on Wednesday. That southern track again. No development though, but Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica watching near Belize, south of Jamaica, south of the Cayman Islands, a lot of moisture here. So this is by Thursday. Stopping it here Thursday. Nothing organized, chance of rain and storms, ABC Islands, and still that rain over toward Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago, so that rain chance increasing throughout the week. All right, let's go from Thursday, and I want to bring you into Friday. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, scattered showers and storms back through Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. This is Friday. There's the extra rain. So I'll be watching this closely to see if, again, by the weekend or next week, something wants to spin up here. I'm going to get into those water temps in just a second, which are critical. But look at that extra rain. Not organized, but a much higher chance of rain later this week in the Eastern Caribbean. Got you covered over towards, say, St. Lucia, Dominica, because we've had flooding. So I'm going to be highlighting that as we go throughout the week. So this area is the area I'm watching. Will late season storm develop? Breaking down the models, and as you know, I don't just look at the models. Models are one piece of the puzzle. The environmental conditions are really the most important thing. The American model is still showing something spinning up. Tropical depression or tropical storm sometime by the weekend or next week. European model, no. Canadian model, no. Uh, the Icon model, Germany, no. So most of the models aren't seeing it, uh, but occasionally the American model has something spinning up. But at this point, even if it does, it has it as a, a tropical storm, not, not even a hurricane or a major hurricane, but we'll see how things shake out. Plenty of time to watch. No need to worry about that. I'll keep you posted. That's why this channel's here. Now, as far as the water temps are concerned, I mentioned the environmental conditions. This is what's important. The typical season, I had a commenter yesterday say, you haven't been out toward Africa a lot lately. That season has shut off. We don't get these big waves rolling off the coast of Africa this time of year. That season is usually kind of right in the heart of the hurricane season. You get those big waves marching across. That's why I'm not going out there anymore because I keep an eye on things, of course, but uh, nothing is uh, popping up. That season shuts off. The pattern changes. Water temperatures are cooler near Bermuda, back into the Gulf of Mexico, 27 degrees Celsius. About 29 degrees Celsius, though, in the Western Caribbean. These are 29 markers, about 28. 29 is a little over... 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So water temperatures are still warm this time of year in the Western Caribbean and actually warmer than usual for this time of year. It's kind of a back-ended season. We've seen these 
hurricanes late October, early November develop. August was quiet. So yes, it wouldn't be surprising to see something develop here this weekend and next week. And that's just something I'll keep an eye on. I'm not seeing anything major as of now, but that's what I'll be watching because those water temps are warm. All right, let's get back to the Eastern Caribbean for a second. Today and tomorrow, more rain to the south, 25 millimeters to about 75 millimeters of rain if you do get rain. Now about a 30% chance near Puerto Rico, for example, Trinidad and Tobago, about a 60% chance. But I showed you that long-term model later this week. Week, that rain chance is going to be picking up as it kind of sweeps across Jamaica. Some of us stay dry, say maybe dry in Kingston, maybe getting some rain over toward Falmouth or Montego Bay. So it just depends. Scattering of showers and storms. But as the week goes on, I showed you that moisture. So as you hang with me this week and I update uh, YouTube for you, we'll be watching out for the possibility of isolated flooding in spots. All right, if there is another named system, the next name on the list is Owen Paula after that. It is rare to get a named system at this point, but there are those environmental conditions that uh, could give us a spin up in the Western Caribbean. I'll watch that for you. Thank you for sharing this channel and being part of this weather community. I hope you have a good rest of your day.